Over the past two weeks, my current read has put me in such a slump that it's time for a challenge. So this weekend, I'm swapping my four hours and 37 minute average screen time for reading. Good morning. I am being like very particular about the time that I'm reading. Like I'm being very on top of it. I have set my stopwatch and I'm like literally clicking on and off. So whenever I'm reading, I am on it. I'm on the timer. Um, today on the tube, I started Dawn of Onyx by Kate Golden and I'm going into it blind. I've been seeing this book all over Instagram for like a year. I've been wanting to read it. I found it at Forbidden Planet yesterday, two days ago, and Impulse Buy is £3 off. It's signed. It has bonus material. Obviously, it's the choice. I have to get it. And so far, I have read for 11 minutes <laughs> this morning, specifically, and I think I'm on page 10. So, we will set the timer again as soon as we get on the tube and leave ballet, and we'll see how this goes over the next three days. So this morning I was almost hit by a car as I was crossing the crosswalk I had the right of way. This man never looked at me. I was already halfway through the street. I jumped back. He went through pushing 50 miles an hour if I had to guess in a 20 zone um, as if that would have been better being hit at 20 miles an hour. But after the fear settled, the first thing I thought of was my husband and my family. And then the second thing I thought of was what if I had died? And I never got to read House of Flame and Shadow by Sarah J. Maas. What if I never got to read another new book by Sarah J. Maas? I'm getting emotional just thinking about it. <laughs> also, this is me making light of a situation that was really terrifying. Um, yeah, I just had to like carry on like nothing happened. <laughs> it's been like weighing on my mind all day. Anyway. It's the next day, it's Saturday. I only made it to three hours and like 20 minutes. <laughs> I did not do the full four hours and 37 minutes last night. I had too much lesson planning to do for this morning's classes that I was teaching. And it's already four o'clock and I have not yet started my reading for today. So I have four hours and 37 minutes to try to do today and see if I can accomplish it. But I am on page 173 of A Dawn of Onyx and this is so good. I'm so glad I went into this like basically blind because I just skimmed the synopsis. I just like, just sounded like something I like, a fantasy romance. Um, it definitely has the like, who did this to you trope and it's a very cool world. I'll tell you a little bit about it. There's this nice, nice map. You know I love a map. So you have the Onyx Kingdom, the Peridot Provinces, the Opal Territories, Courts of, Ro of Rose, yeah, Courts of Rose, Kingdom of Amber, the Pearl Mountains, Bitter Waste, and the Garnet Kingdom, Jade Islands, Mineral Sea. So like it's all based off of like, you know, gems. It's, it's very cool. You have like humans and fae and dragons and ogres and like just we haven't seen all of them, but like I know they exist in this world. We're following a girl named Arwen who is from Kingdom of Amber and she has been taken prisoner in place of her brother who stole something from the Onyx Kingdom. They're at war with each other. The Onyx Kingdom is just like taking over the Amber Kingdom and this small kingdom like has nothing of value. So everyone's confused why this is happening and she meets a prisoner that's in the cell next to her in the onyx kingdom and like then it goes from there it's really good i'm so glad i picked it up so today i could possibly finish this if i complete my four hours and 37 minutes but christian and i are going to start decorating the house for christmas as you can see behind me i've got some christmas pillows out so we're gonna go do that and then we're gonna continue reading Whoa, oh, oh. <laughs> Get a 
Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. 'Cause I missed you so, I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you, baby. This year is just gonna be you and me. Well, I've been very good about stopping my stopwatch anytime I'm like answering a text, decorating, cleaning, cooking, whatever today. But that does mean that I have technically only read for 39 minutes according to my stopwatch. So not looking so good for me tonight considering that it's now 8 o'clock on Saturday. But I just ordered pizza. So it's pizza and reading and nothing else for the rest of the night. <laughs> Good morning, it's Sunday. I swear I have more sweaters than this one, but I just find it the most cozy and soft when it's this cold out, so I'm wearing it all the time right now. But anyway, I only read about two hours and maybe 10 minutes. I don't know, I'm gonna have to pop the timer up on the screen of when it stopped uh, last night. This is turning out to be much harder than I thought it would be, and I think I figured out why. It's because I'm not truly swapping my screen time. I'm just trying to fit in the amount of hours that I spend on my screen into reading, but I'm not actually like removing all of my YouTube watch hours. Also like, you know, scrolling through Instagram, responding to texts. I FaceTimed my parents last night, but like obviously I'm gonna like FaceTime and call and text people. But like a true swap of like YouTube and apps and things, I need to figure out a way to do that. So maybe, I'm gonna have to redo this challenge, but I'm gonna see where I get to today in terms of reading. <laughs> if I can come even anywhere close to four hours, it might be a little bit of a cheat because I do have my live reading sprints tonight. I do them every Sunday through the end of December. This is only the second week we've done it, but I think we're doing three rounds of 45 minutes. So what is that like over, it was like two hours, 15 minutes? Someone do the math. Um, so I will get like a good chunk done during that time, but I'm not really doing well on this challenge. <laughs> I'm about to sprint and I'm almost done with my first book. So these are the two that I pulled. I think, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what I'm in the mood for. I think maybe Catwoman, but guys, this book is so, 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 so good. very pink today hi hello it is monday and we need to chat about this bloody challenge come sit down with me let's talk i finished last night during my reading sprint if you don't know we're panic sprinting every sunday at 2 p.m central chicago time and 8 p.m london greenwich mean time from now until the end of the year so we can panic and read together and try to finish our reading goals with tbrs i'll link the next one in the cards and down below for you to click and join and read with us. Yeah, anyway, so I finished Dawn of Onyx. Five stars, five stars! This was so well done. If you like Miss Mass's books, this is one to check out. I liked the writing style, I liked the plot, I liked the characters, I liked the love interest, I liked the twist and turns. I didn't fully guess what the twists and turns were at the end, which is a big win in my book. I was just here for a fun time. It's by no means a perfect book. I think that it could have done with a couple chapters in the beginning, setting up our main characters, like fam familial, that's a hard word to say, familial, <laughs> family <laughs> members, like relationships a little bit better, and setting up some of the foundational 
uh, situationships and childhood crushes that she had. I think that that would have served the plot better in the long run, but it wasn't necessary. It's just my personal opinion. I liked the steaminess. It's not super steamy at all. In fact, our author is very teasy and then she's like, oh, just kidding. That can't happen right now. So I had a lot of fun with it. The sequel, I think it's called A Promise of Peridot. I'll pop it up on the screen for you. I believe it comes out in April, which sucks because that's another like six months or so that I need to wait to read this book. It's just, it's really good. Kate Golden, you've done a fantastic job on your debut book. Congratulations, felicitations. You'll never see this video, but I will read the next book that you make and create. And it was great. It was brilliant. Thank you for this. I loved it. Um, I then started Catwoman Soul Stealer during those reading sprints and I got to page 85 by Sarah J. Mass. This is book three in the DC Icons meets Megastar Authors collaboration that was done several years ago. This came out in 2018. So the first book is Wonder Woman by Lee Bardugo and then Batman by Marie Lu, Catwoman by Sarah J. Mass, and Superman by Matt De La Pina. I'm saying that correctly. I think that these all work together. However, you can read them as standalones. So I'm very much enjoying this and I did not expect the serious like conversations that are happening in this book already. Just in the first couple of chapters, we have a child with very severe cystic fibrosis with a 20 year life expectancy and you have $500 co-pays and you have parents with drug addictions and abusive um, boyfriends of the mom. You have um, conversations about race and about, you know, being pulled over by the color of your skin. And it's done in a very tasteful way, in my opinion, so far. And they're heavy and very real conversations that Sarah J. Mass has put in a young adult book, but it's also so it's like working as being educational and informative, but also entertaining and interesting, and it's well written. So in this, we're following Selena Kyle, who is Catwoman, and Sarah J. Mass has done her own spin on the plot with the DC comic. I'm not familiar with the original comic. I watched like the cartoon as a kid, uh, which I had Batman and Robin. I think that's what it was called, Batman and Robin. But anyway, Selena Kyle is going to have an enemies to lovers situationship relationship, I'm not sure, with Batwing, who is the apprentice of Batman. And Bruce Wayne is like off doing a secret mission in this book so far. Maybe that has something to do with the book prior to this one. I don't know, but so far it's like not important. There are other characters coming in, Poison Ivy, um, Harley Quinn. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm enjoying this. So if I add up the three rounds of 45 minute sprints, plus the one hour and like 27 minutes that I read throughout Sunday yesterday, then that puts me at just like a little bit over four hours. So I did not make my four hours and 37 minute target any day, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday this weekend. So this was a fail. This is a failure of a challenge. And I think it's my own fault for not like literally removing like all of YouTube and all Instagram and like all my apps. I need to figure out a way to do this challenge better and accomplish more because I was trying to squeeze in all these extra hours of reading, but then not having like the extra time to really do that. I don't know, but let me know if you want to give this challenge a try. If you've done it already, how did it go for you? If you have any tips, please let me know. So that was it. Uh, that was that. Thanks so much for being here with me. Drop a like down below if you liked this video, if you like seeing me attempt challenges like this. I don't think I've ever done like a big challenge before. This might be my first one ever. <laughs> and it didn't go very well, so we need to redo it. Maybe at a time when I'm like not working. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I hope that you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye.